Hello, I wanted to make this short video on my class project. Our task was to make a game engine from scratch and build a demo game with it. We used C++ and SFML for this project because we had to use it for our previous courses so we were familiar with the how it works. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, SFML is a simple utility library. Uh, you do graphics rendering with it, basically, and it comes with some audio with the uh, Open Audio library, and it uses OpenGL for rendering. So our project, we set to make a simple uh, Mario platformer clone. Uh, initially, we in intended to use Box 2D for the physics and Tiled for the Tile Editor. One of the minimum requirements for the project was to use either Entity Component Architecture or the other one that I totally forgot the name of. Uh, I joined this project one week after it had started because I was too busy cooking hamburgers at 3 a.m. and sleeping during class hours. So some of the groundwork had already been done. Uh, so uh, the guy basically took some Indian guy's Java tutorial and copy pasted the code into the project. So then we had some kind of a event stack system with smart pointers. I don't understand how it works or why it works, what it is, but it works. So I didn't touch any of that. So after I started working on this, uh, I couldn't get the tiled, uh, tile editor working, tiled. So uh, we looked at alternatives and we found this TMX Lite library. But that also sucked because I couldn't get that shit to compile with any tricks. So I figured we got six weeks, so how hard can it be to throw together a simple tile map editor and make the tile map, tile map system myself? Uh, after all, I would still have to uh, integrate it with the uh, physics of the game, and there was still no info on how those physics are going to be made. I started by building a scene class which would contain all the data about the world, I plan to have entity instances and things like that stored inside the scene as well, so it will make data management easier later on. Uh, turns out classmates weren't having any luck with the Box2D library either, so they set to write their own physics. Uh, this sounded good as someone familiar with their own system will make integrating my system with their system much easier. Well, you would think that after writing a whole system that you made yourself, you would be very familiar with how it works and how you can integrate it into an existing system. But apparently there were many difficulties involved in combining my system with their system. So a week was spent on combining the physics system with my world system for some reason. After, after a long while of working on it, we managed to weld them together in the game's main loop with basically a duct tape solution. Anyway, here's what I made. There, there's a cool main menu that one of the guys copied from the Indian, Indian tutorial. Uh, I, however, had to rewrite all of that because it was insane. So enough talk. Here's how it looks like. Uh, it's a uh, very cool. So when you press play, it goes in a, like a basic default scene because this is how much we got done as a group <laughs> for a fucking school assignment. Uh, it, it is a trip. Uh, either way, when you press tab key, uh, you can open the uh, uh, tile editor and you can, right now you can just only place one tile because I was too lazy to add in the feature to pick which tile you're placing because of the time constraints and lack of motivation. Here's a sketch of the original plan for the uh, scene editor and this is the final output and honestly pretty impressive, pretty impressive I gotta say it's uh, fairly accurate to what I promised. 
All right, so here's something about the inner workings of the same system I wrote. So I, uh, I started looking at other people's projects and how they made it. There was not much on it. Like there were some couple of garbage ones. But um, I found on SFML's website, there was a useful resource for uh, 3D accelerating the tile rendering. So what you had to do is uh, build a build a mesh object of your of your tiles so you can send it to OpenGL to render it in a single draw call because uh, SFML uses sprites but you cannot draw thousands of sprites because every single one of those is an individual draw call. The world data itself is stored in a multi-dimensional uh, struct array and it can be uh, modified to add relevant tile data like right now it's currently just starting what the tile I texture ID is and the uh, collision if it has collisions enabled. And Medman system very uh, scalable because uh, I didn't really know what the fuck they wanted to do with the fucking system. So uh, you can make the world custom size, you can make custom tile size, you can add a custom tile set meaning like custom texture atlases. Uh, custom background images and adding anything on top of that would be really easy. So whatever uh, whatever else you would want from a tile editor, it can do it. Uh, one limitation of the GPU accelerator rendering is that you cannot scale the uh, world during runtime because the the uh, world is stored in a mesh object. And scaling the mesh object is really difficult. You will have to reconstruct the whole object to get, get a larger mesh because it's basically a, a grid, but you need to a grid of polygons, but you need to uh, rebuild it every time you change the size of it. All right, so features left missing were uh, uh, save and load features. So originally I intended to have a uh, JSON parser and just throw that shit into a JSON file, which would have been pretty convenient to have like custom stages and stuff. But then I got lazy. And the other feature was the, uh, as I showed before, the lack of uh, tile picker. So you can pick the different tiles you can place. And that was a time constraint issue because. Uh, the, we had very little time to make this and I was practically doing everything myself. So how the tile editor works, it's uh, very simple. So it's, like, it's an overlay based one. It just, you can press a tab key and it opens the overlay and you can just click on the screen and it places tiles. Uh, changing tiles is essentially uh, changing the UV offset of the tile. So how it works is we take the position of the mouse where it clicked and then we look for the uh, then we divide it by the tile size and look for it in the uh, multi-dimensional array where the tiles are stored and change the uh, tile visually the UV offset of the texture and also change the uh, parameters of the tile how, whatever parameters we did defined like if the collisions are enabled or and what the tile ID is. Uh, what did I learn from this project? In the end, um, I, I will stop saying that that won't be my problem to myself because it will definitely be my problem tomorrow when everyone else finds out. And the second thing I realized is if I want things done right, then I got to sit there and watch them do it till they do it right. And the last thing was that I learned to be more familiar with C++. I was, uh, I was basically just skipping courses and flunking classes uh, because I was too, bu too busy making burgers at 3 a.m. and sleeping. Anyway, that's it for the video. I just wanted to make this because uh, I spent, I spent like, do I spend like 150 hours on this fucking piece of shit? And ain't, ain't nobody gonna use this fucking garbage ever, but, and nobody's gonna even see it. Like, 
we had a class presentation and there was this fucking wanker who was on his phone. He was staring at his phone, motherfucker, while we were doing our presentation. Like, that's the most disrespectful thing ever. So, uh, I just wanted to make this video showing it off because I have no friends to show it off to. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.